Hello everyone, welcome to Watch This Now. My name is Nick, and today is Saturday, and that means Shutter Day. Yes, we are looking at the top best streaming titles on Shutter leading up to Halloween. And Shutter is doing us good. Oh man, I have been hearing about this movie, Tigers Are Not Afraid, out of the festival circuit for a while now. When I heard that they had it premiering on the service on Friday the 13th, I said, yep. That's what's happening this week. Tigers are not afraid. Spoiler alert, the hype is real with this one. I'm telling you, this was a really well done film. I'm going to tell you right now, if you're a stickler for your horror, then this is going to feel like more of a dark drama with fantasy elements for you. But don't go anywhere, because this is such a good film. This is not just a good horror film. I actually think this is one of the best films of the year so far. The film is set in small town Mexico, where we learn right off the bat with the title that many of these areas have turned into near ghost towns due to the violence committed by street gangs. Our story is told through the eyes of several orphan children who band together on the streets to take care of one another and just to really try and survive. Day after day, finding shelter and food to eat, the kids tell each other fairy tales that sort of mirror the actual real life horrors that they are experiencing dealing with gang members chasing after them, trying to murder them, murdering their parents. This film has a lot of real-world horror that is told through a fantastical scope, which I think is an excellent idea. I could try and sell this to you as It Chapter 1 set in Mexico, but I actually think that'd be a huge disservice to this film. As much as we love that, and It Chapter 1 might be the better straight-up horror film, Tigers Are Not Afraid is a very well-done film that focuses on real-life horror that children experience and tells it in a way that is oddly entertaining for the disturbing subject matter that we end up seeing on display. It's incredible what a good visual vibe this film has. You are easily kept in with a lot of striking imagery, and the acting from the children is just incredible. Kid actors can ruin a lot of films, especially horror films, but all of them feel like they are giving real performances here. You feel like you're just stumbled upon some documentary about kids living on the street with some CGI added in. I have to single out Juan Ramon Lopez, who plays the character Shine. Fantastic. Oh my god. Sometimes it's just shocking to see these kids give these performances. You're like, oh my god, is that just... Is that even a performance? Like, is that a middle-aged haunted man living inside this child's body? I don't know. It's insane. The acting matches the superb storytelling and direction from Issa Lopez, who brought this film to life. This is a very harsh but real look at some sadly real situations, yet there is this very entertaining flow throughout. Although there are a lot of disturbing things in question here, the film is told in such a way that keeps you interested and invested and honestly, emotionally pulls you in. I was really surprised by how pulled I was by some of the emotional beats. I even got a little teary-eyed, but I don't want to spoil anything. The only thing I do want to say is that this film has, in my opinion, some unnecessary CGI. Our main character, Estrella, is haunted by her deceased mother, and the manifestation of the mother sort of giving her warnings and things looks a little off to me. I don't like whenever that happened. Anytime we got to any of these sequences, I almost felt like we should have just stripped the horror elements away and made this a simple, straightforward gang violence drama. And I think it would be like up there for best horror film. But this movie really is so good. I do think when it decides to go into fantasy horror realms, we do get a little off track. And I understand how it's supposed to play out. In the end, it all did kind of come together for me. I would have probably appreciated a more straightforward and narrow approach. But again, it still works so well, the way things are handled. I have very few flaws with this one. The only other one is a nitpick, and that's what they say the title a whole lot in this film. I know that it becomes a saying for the characters, but it just became a little bit much, especially towards the end. I was like, yeah, I know. They're not afraid. I knew that when I clicked on the title. Tigers Are Not Afraid made such a strong and immediate impression on me that I will go right ahead and say that this is some form of new classic. Whether you want to say it's a new classic of international film, or horror, or dark children fantasy weirdness with blood scribbling around the floor. However you want to categorize this film, it's so good. It's just so good. This is great. It's definitely worth a watch. Even if you're looking for something a little more horror, I would say this is a great 
pre-Halloween season little nibble to get you excited, to get some dark material to get you in the mood. This is another great example of real-world horrors being told through cinema in a very beautiful manner, and I just think that this is something that really deserves everyone's time and attention. Don't be scared by the subtitles. The film is really quite lean, so I honestly I don't have much more to say about it. It's just a very simple, effective, and good film that I definitely recommend. I'm giving Tigers Are Not Afraid a 4 out of 5. This is a gem on Shudder. So if you have it, definitely give this one a watch. And feel free to let me know in the comments below what are your favorite streaming titles that are on Shudder. What are your favorites? Or what would you like me to watch and talk about? Thank you so much for watching this review. Happy Shutter Day to ya. I'm really thankful for you watching. Like my like this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for plenty more videos that are coming at ya.